Hello everyone and welcome to the answers to the feedback challenge on IELTS writing task two, topic sentences three. So this was um, the challenge that we set last week on topic sentences. And the challenge was to write a topic sentence for the first main body paragraph of the following question. And the question said, some believe that nuclear weapons benefit the world at large. To what extent do you agree or disagree? So this is from an opinion essay. In our opinion, we do have to mention the extent because it asks for extent. So we're going to have to say uh, we totally agree or I completely agree at some point. Uh, and you are provided with the idea that you're going to disagree because nuclear weapons harm the environment. So how do we go about writing topic sentences? Well, there is a four-part structure, an easy four-part structure that I've gone over in numerous lessons. And we're going to highlight that as we go through today and check that we're, all the students are following this. That the main reason why I disagree. So excellent. This is our first part. But this is basically showing that we disagree. So it's very clear what our opinion is, because your opinion has to be clear in every single paragraph to get over a basic rover. So the main reason why I disagree with nuclear weapons being beneficial. So this is a little bit awkward. It would be better here to write rather than with, I disagree that nuclear weapons are beneficial. So we try to write in clauses, not in uh, noun phrases. So this can actually be included in this first part. That's the main reason why I disagree that. Then we're going to have the idea that we're disagreeing with. So nuclear weapons are beneficial for the world. Okay. So this is the second part of the structure that we need to follow. Then we need some joining words. So we actually need two. You can say is because or is that. So here we need this extra expression. This is the third part of the structure that we want. And then we want a clause here. They are harmful for the environment. So good. And this very last part, which I'm going to highlight in gray, um, this is where you're actually writing your main idea. So this is always going to be as a clause. Okay. So you can see we've got four parts. We're showing that we disagree. We're showing what we disagree with. We've got some linking words. And then we've got the main idea. And we're going to see that all of the successful topic sentences that have been submitted are going to follow this structure. So let's look at our next one. The main reason why I completely disagree that. Okay, so we've got this first part. Great job to the student. Weapons using nuclear power are beneficial for the entire world. Okay. So we're very clearly showing what we um, disagree with. We've got our joining words, is that. And then clause, they harm the environment, subject, verb, object. Wonderful, really good. Uh, topic sentence, this is following the structure that I've shown you. The next one, the main reason why I strongly agree is that, okay, so we've got this first part, excellent. Nuclear weapons advantages the planet. So normally we wouldn't use an advantage as a verb, advantage is a noun. So benefit uh, would be a more natural uh, verb here. So the nuclear benef weapons benefit the planet at large. Okay, so we're showing what we disagree with. We've got our joining words, is because, or is that, both of them are fine. It harms environment. So we've got a couple of issues here. When we refer to environment, we're talking about the environment of the world, the specific environment that's so always referred to as the environment. And uh, here it says it harms. So we've got to sit, check what, what does it refer to? Well, it is surely referring to nuclear weapons. The nuclear weapons are plural. So our referencing pronoun here must be plural as well. It's very, very important whenever you use referencing pronouns like it or they, 
uh, that you get this right, because this not only is going to hurt your grammar score, it's also going to hurt your coherence cohesion. So these are really important words. So make sure anytime you write uh, referencing pronouns that you have a very clear idea of what they are referencing. Okay, but we are following the structure. That's really good to see. And again, it's a very effective topic sentence. Okay, let's move on to this. So the main reason why I disagree that, okay, so we've got this structure. Nuclear weapons are beneficial to the whole world. Okay, excellent. Very clear what we're referring to is that. Okay, joining words, subject, verb, object, they damage the environment. And again, really nice topic sentence, following the structure that I've shown you, and this would be very good in your, your exam. Here we've got the primary reason why I believe that uh, nuclear weapons are not beneficial. Okay, so this is um, following a slightly different structure. So we're showing that they're not beneficial. So at least we're showing we don't think that um, they're beneficial. So we're showing that we disagree. Uh, is due to its detrimental effect. So once again, the it is referring to weapons. So this would have to be their detrimental effects um, on the environment. Let me read this again. The primary reason I believe that nuclear weapons are not beneficial to the world is due to their detrimental effects on the environment. So this works. We've very clearly got our idea here. Obviously, you don't have to follow the structure, but we can see that this is a very easy structure to follow. So this is effective. But I would recommend to make your life easy following my structure. So the main reason why I totally agree with that, let me disagree with that, okay. Nuclear weapons benefit the world at large. Okay, so this is going back to the structure that I showed you before. That's because, excellent. They damage, and again, when we refer to the environment, we always say that environment. And this one is just following the structure I showed you and it's a very, very effective topic sentence. Okay, so we've only got two left. The first thing, I believe atomic weapons are not beneficial for the world. Okay, so we are showing that we disagree because we're saying they're not beneficial. Some believe that they are because when used in wars, they can cause large scale destruction. Here, we're not really mentioning that they're harming the environment. So while this definitely is um, accurate, and this, you know, if you wanted to have this as your main idea, we're not really talking about the environment here. So it's relevant, but not for the idea that we're talking about, is that they can So this would be effective, but again, uh, it's not following the structure that I'm showing you. You don't have to. Um, but as I said, it, it works as a topic sentence. So the important thing is you're showing that you disagree and you have a main idea. But nuclear weapons have a negative effect on the world because it is, again, we're talking about weapons that so they are harmful to the environment. Okay, so this is the danger of not following my advice. There is no indication of your opinion. You're just stating facts. So if you haven't followed what I'm saying, because of this topic sentence, your opinion is not clear. You're just stating facts. There's, there's no way in here that it looks like your opinion. If your opinion is not clear, the absolute maximum you're going to get for your task response 
is band six. Even if the rest of your essay is perfect, you're not going to get over a band six because of this topic sentence. So what do we do? We follow the structure. The main reason why I totally disagree is that nuclear weapons have a positive effect on the world. The structure here. Very easy to learn. The main reason why I totally disagree is that nuclear weapons have a positive effect on the world is because. They're harmful to the environment. The second last part is good. Now, by following this structure, it's very clear what our opinion is. We're addressing the answer specifically, and we know that our grammar is going to be correct if we're following this kind of structure of clause and clause. Okay. So those were the topic sentences that people sent in. Please remember this structure. You can use this structure over and over again for all the different essay types. We're going to have what you're talking about, what it's referring to, a linking word, and then your main idea. So good topic sentences have these four components. If you've got questions about anything, please leave them in the comments below or um, let me know on the Facebook channel. Uh, thank you, everyone who participated in this challenge. I uh, wish you the best of luck in all of your studies. Hope you have a great week. I'll see you soon.